Hello folks, just a quick one for today. Just wanted to quickly uh, go through a little tech tip that I uncovered earlier today. Uh, for those of you who may be a little bit like me, like to use custom colour profiles on uh, NVIDIA control panel. Uh, just to quickly explain what that is for people who are not aware. Um, on NVIDIA control panel you can set custom brightness contrast and gamma for your particular monitors. So for example on my monitor, I if you have it like this uh, you can actually change the brightness and the contrast and so on and so on. Now the reason why you might want this little tool just to explain is basically if you set a custom colour setting or custom brightness and contrast and so on and so forth on the uh, NVIDIA control panel it doesn't persist. So what that means is, is that it uh, may not persist when you reboot and it also may not persist when you actually launch a game. So for example if you launch a game uh, it will suddenly just uh, wash out the colours and stuff like that or when you quit the game it will just wash out the colours and you have to actually physically go in to NVIDIA control panel and do this and do this to reset it. So I just wanted to make you aware of a nice little tool I found called CP Keeper and um, what this does is it's a colour profile keeper and basically what it does is it runs in your system tray like it is down here and what it does is every time uh, any program any game any application whatever even windows tries to change the color profile it'll just instantly go no nope, you're not doing that puts your color profile straight back it's fantastic it's saving me so much headache i mean i've been wrestling with this problem for years i mean since the beginning of using nvidia cards quite frankly uh so for this tool to work so well is just so lovely so I just thought I would do a nice little video on it um, so basically what you want to do uh, you just go into your NVIDIA control panel and set up your brightness and contrast settings for all of your monitors how you like them and then once you're done uh, all you need to do is open up the color profile keeper tool it's a standalone executable so just download it and save it somewhere I've got it in my documents and what you can do is uh, this little star button here will save the current uh, color profile for your monitor so that's basically how you've set it up in GeForce Experience. So if you press that button, that'll let you save a CPK file or a color profile uh, file. Save that somewhere on your computer and uh, then select the same file again using this little dialog box here. Do that for all of your monitors and then all you need to do is press lock profile and then press apply. And then once you've done that, just go into the settings and you just want it to start with Windows, apply, apply profiles that start up and minimize to the system tray. And basically what this tool will do is then just make sure that regardless of what you're doing, what games you run, so on and so forth, that color profile that you've set up in NVIDIA experience will always be the one that is used. So if I go ahead and start a game which is quite notorious for this sort of thing, uh, for example Fallout New Vegas, Anyway, as we can see, we start the game and the colour profile hasn't changed. It's still the same colour profile. This is um, even, there you go, the colour profile just changed then. So as you can see, it got a little brighter. But in theory, uh, when we when we quit out of this game and go back to the desktop, everything should look exactly the way it was before. And it does, so perfect. Nothing gets changed. No, no more washed out desktops and dodgy colours and arsing around in NVIDIA control panel so just want to give uh, major credit to the guy who created this tool uh, his name is Gobesh Gobish? Gobish? Either way, legend of a man, I owe you many many monies if, I, if you have a donate button on your website I will click uh, thanks very much for watching and I hope you found this uh, tutorial useful and I'll see you on the next video take care, ta-da!